Hey, what's going on guys? Johnny C, the King of Systems here. And on this video, what I want to do is I want to share with you how to set up DocuSign uh, properly with your purchase and sale agreement to be able to send that out to sellers to sign digitally. Now, I will fully tell you that I am not a huge fan of uh, sending out documents for electronic signatures, especially with sellers. I know a lot of people do it. Um, I'm still the old school guy that likes to get face to face with the paper. And the reason that is, is because a lot of times on the digital stuff, they sit on them a little bit longer. Uh, they might have some questions, and I understand that we can Zoom and kind of go over it and answer their questions and everything else. I understand all that stuff. It's just I typically have seen a slower seller uh, when it comes to signing documents when you use something like this. However, we do do this as long as we um, trust the seller and we you know, have already met with them and then we know that they are going to go out and sign. So let me show you how to set this thing up. It's actually very easy and it goes kind of without saying that you are going to have to have a DocuSign account in order to uh, be able to send out documents to sellers or even buyers via DocuSign. So the first thing that I do is I'm going to actually create a template and uh, I'm just going to go into here and create a template and uh, from here I'm going to upload my purchase and sale but I'm going to name this Purchase and Sale uh, Buckeye Home Buyers, whatever. Okay, and that template name is important. And the way that you upload your file is important as well. So if you want to rename it or whatever uh, after you uh, upload this so that your seller doesn't actually see Purchase and Sale uh, Agreement Assignment or anything like that, it's probably going to bring up some red flags. So you definitely want to just kind of put the template name and maybe rename your actual purchase and sale agreement like a purchase and sale agreement uh, versus anything that it might not really be. So I'm going to upload the document from my desktop and I'm going to find the document, which it is right here, the copy of the purchase and sale agreement, which is assignable. I'm going to put that in right there. And then I'm going to go down here to recipients. Now, this is very, very key. Keep in mind that we are just doing the template right now uh, for this. So I'm going to, uh, you've got to set the signing roles. So I'm going to put into here the buyer is going to sign, which is going to be me uh, with this. And then I'm going to put my name, if I can spell it right. And then I'm going to put my email address right here okay now I need to be a signer on this now what I always do with this is I add a recipient and another recipient so I actually have three uh, people on this so I'm gonna put the role for this seller one is gonna sign here so I'm just gonna do and, and I'm gonna leave that blank and then I'm gonna do the role here is seller number two now see how this one right here is yellow then you got blue and then you got purple so what you're going to need to do with this is make sure that you set, uh, click this box, which is set the signing order. And you need to go first. You need to go out there and sign this thing first because it's, it's a really big deal with this. So you got your buyer, which is me, signing first. And then once I go out there and fill this out and sign it, then it's going to send it to seller number two. And then it's going to sell it to sell, seller number one. And then it's going to send it to seller number two if there is a seller number two. So it should look just like this. And then I'm going to click next and it's going to actually bring up the document that uh, I, I just uploaded in here. And then I've got to have it fill all of this stuff out. So uh, what I want to happen is I want the buyer who's in yellow, which is me, to actually fill out all of this stuff and sign it uh, right here on DocuSign. I'm the first one, so I'm going to put all these fields in. And basically, when I get ready to write a contract, they're all going to be in here, and I just type it out on DocuSign. So here's how it works. Uh, I'm just going to go right here to text, because this is a text value that needs to be added into here. And I'm just going to click right here. So uh, which acknowledge herein, the undersigned, the buyer, so that would be my company, uh, would go right there. And I'm just going to keep sliding in all these text ones, okay, because this is everything that needs to be signed. Uh, here's where the real estate known as the property address is going to go in right here. I'm going to slide in a text for the county or the city, and then I'm going to do the county. I'm going to do the state. And again, this is all yellow because these are the fields that I am going to be filling out with this. 
Purchase price, uh, you can do a number, but I am actually going to just fill that out as text. Uh, uh, same thing right here with the deposit and then with the uh, uh, total going right here. Then you're going to just, all these blanks in here, you're going to also just put text in there. So uh, customary terms firm here too, blank day. So I'm just going to put uh, text right into there. Buyer will have blank days to do an inspection. Is there any realtors involved with this, which is probably going to be NA? Is there any commissions being paid, which I'm going to do a text field as well. Scroll down, the closing shall occur on or before. This is the date. So this is also going to be text. Uh, here's going to be a number value, which I'm still going to do a text on that. And then you would put the title company right here or closing attorney. So that is something that I am going to write in there as well. Uh, seller uh, or the buyer can get a walkthrough within blank days. So I'm going to do that as text in here. Uh, this offer shall remain open until text o'clock on date. It's going to be text, and this day or the the year is going to be text as well. Signed this text. So the good news is, is you only have to do this once. Uh, that, that's the good news with this. So here's the, the day, uh, sign this 12th day of June. And then you got your year. Now, again, these are all yellow. So this is going to be the buyer that is signing all of that. So I entered in all those fields. Then I'm going to drag the signature down right here. And then it's going to say buy. And I'm going to put in text. Make this a little bit larger. Scoot it over a hair. And then I'm going to put the date signed right here. Now, that's all I need to sign. Okay, well, that's a lot. But uh, then here you've got two lines here for seller one and seller two. So I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to go seller one. And you can see that it all changed. I'm going to drag the signature down to right here. And then the date right here for seller number one. Then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to switch this over to seller number two, which is purple. Drag the signature down here if there is uh, a seller number two, and then the date signed right here. Done. Now, this is the template. The template is done. Okay. So now let's say that we have a deal that we're getting ready to um, put under contract with the seller. And you could do this on an iPad, uh, literally right in front of the seller. You could do it uh, via email or whatnot. Um, it's easier and best to do it face-to-face -face if you can do it that way. So uh, I've already got the template done. So now when, when you go to log in the next time or whatnot, I need to sign and get signatures. So it's going to create what is called an envelope. And then it's going to ask uh, me to upload the purchase and sale. Well, I'm going to use a template, the one that I just did, which is right here. Add the selected. And then it's added this document into this. And then I would add my recipients in here with the signing order. So you got the buyer, which is name and email, is going to sign first. They're in yellow. Seller number two or one is going to be seller one. Normally you put their email there or their uh, Mindy Johnson right here and Mindy at Mindy.com. Now, I don't have a, a, a second seller that needs to actually sign this in this per particular case. If you did you would put them right here and, and right here. But if, if you don't and you only got one seller, you can actually just drag this straight to the trash, click delete, and now you can see that there is only two sellers right there. Now I'm going to click next, and what it's going to do is it's going to basically come to me first uh, because I was the first signer on this. And then all I do is I just fill out all these fields. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to fill out all these fields like Buckeye Home Buyers is buying from Mindy Johnson. The 
property address is going to be 123 Main Street, located in Dayton. Whoops. Whoops. County of Green, State of Ohio. Purchase price is 130. Put your commas in there because we just did it as a text field. 130,000, we're gonna put $1,000 down in earnest money. And then that's gonna give a total of 129 right here. Then you fill all these out. The buyer's obtaining a real estate mortgage, paying cash. And I'm just gonna put uh, right here, uh, NA. Buyer will have zero business days to do a home inspection, or if you are, you put that date in there. Owner shall pay listing broker, I'll put N-A, commission of N-A. Closing shall occur on or before, this would be May 30th, 2024, at title company, right here, subject to the buyer walkthrough uh, within, say, three days. This offer shall remain open until 3 o'clock p.m. on uh, April 20th, 24. Signed this 19th day of April, 2024. And then I would simply go out there and sign right here. So I would go out there and sign this, and then I could put me as the actual... Um, you know, the name, John Cochran, member, and then the date that it's it's going to be signed. So I'm going to click send on this, and it's actually going to send this over to me uh, first. So um, uh, that's, that's basically how it happens. So it's going to send it to me. I'm going to go out there and sign it. And then uh, once I go out there and sign it, then it will send it to uh, seller number two, for them to literally, it's all filled out now at this point, and then they just click and assign it right there. The thing I like about it too is you can actually send uh, reminders, uh, you know, to this. So you can actually send reminders to this. Like this is one for Mindy that I'm waiting on. So if I want to resend it to her and 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 she just hasn't sat on or she hasn't done it, I could just click that button right here, and it'll actually put it at the top of her inbox. So that's exactly the way that it works with this autoresponder a correct email. So it's a fake one, so it's not letting me do it um, with this. But that's exactly how this happens, okay? So then when you actually go and uh, you sign a contract with somebody, um, you know, you, I've already signed this one and then they, they need to sign it right here and, and I'm just waiting on it. And then once it's done, it'll actually say that it's signed uh, and everything right there. That's exactly how I use DocuSign for all of my contracts that I feel comfortable enough um, actually going out there and using a DocuSign. That's how you do it. See you guys.